it's Kia here from Kia Creates Inspiring Journals and The Journal Club and today I've got a journal with me video making a spread in this my journal club journal if you don't know what the journal club is it's my monthly sticker subscription so i send my patrons a kit each month with two full sticker sheets with completely new designs on and one or more mystery items so this month the theme is sparkle and shine if you're a journal club member thank you and this is going to be a video that shows you everything that's in the kit and i'm going to be making the journal spread with all the supplies inside so if you want to know what's in there great keep watching if you don't and you'd rather let it be a mystery then avert your eyes now because it's going to be spoilers and if you're not a journal club member then hopefully you'll still enjoy having a little nosy at what's inside the kits and journaling with me making a little spread first a little bit about the inspiration behind the theme for this kit if you've seen my stickers or my art you know that i kind of do these little diamond star swirl dot doodles on everything basically started as just a little bit and now it's like I can't leave any space untouched so that any space gets filled with doodles. They're even on my book covers, my Puzzle Quest book covers, I feel like they've accidentally turned into my brand and I just thought what the heck I keep using these little diamonds off random sticker sheets that I've got and I haven't actually got a full sheet of them so I thought I'm just going to make some full sheets of all these diamond star sparkle doodles that I can turn to whenever I need to fill a space. So you may have seen the first sheet that's included in the kit, Sparkle and Shimmer, before if you've watched my last YouTube video where I made a shimmer themed journal spread for Junk Journal January, that was an episode of the Cozy Creation Station. So I made the first Sparkle and Shimmer sticker sheet way back then, I was planning ahead for this theme, I was just really looking forward to it. And then the other sticker sheet, Sparkling Hearts, was kind of inspired by the feelings of Valentine's Day. It's got like pink stars and nice little hearts but obviously it could be used at any time. And then to go along with these two sticker sheets, usually I have one mystery item but I went a bit wild this month because I just like sparkly things. So we've got some pieces of glittery card. The sizes and colours vary, each patron gets a random selection. I really love these, I just love how glittery they are, especially under the light, look at it, it's amazing. Can't wait to just fill my journal with all of that sparkly card and these little glitter dot stickers which I am absolutely going to ravage. I just know that I'm going to put them all over every page until they're all gone. So I hope my patrons like them as much as I do and can't wait to use them. As another little extra just to personalise these journal club kits further I cut out each patron's name out of silver foil heat transfer vinyl. So if you're a patron watching this because you wanted to see the instructions on how to use that you can just skip to the end don't know because we make a fun spread just watch all the way through um <laughs> i've used this pencil case to put my name onto or kia creates onto in the silver vinyl hope you can see that um i would recommend something flatter i just wanted to grab something that was lying around that i could put kia creates on and this pencil case came to mind but it is a little bit thick and it was like nice and puffy before and I think I've kind of ironed the life out of it but more about that later. <laughs> so now you've seen a little bit about what's in the kits. You've got the two sticker sheets, the glittery card, the glittery dots and the silver foil names. They're all packed up and ready to go. Thank you to everyone who subscribed and I've kept one kit for myself and we're going to make a journal spread with it. Here's a sneak peek. Oh and you can watch the rest in a minute. So like I said, this is my journal club journal and it's where I try to keep a record of every journal club kit that I've made. So it start, journal club started in um, April 2020, I believe so it's been going for a while. As you can see, there are some blank pages in here where I've collected all of the supplies from a kit and then for whatever reason, I've not got around to making a spread about it or finishing it off. So I am thinking of doing a cozy creation station episode where I quietly go through and just fill in the gaps in this journal. So if that's something you'd like to see, let me know. But today we're gonna to be making a spread on the February 2023 page, all about the sparkle and shine kit. So here we go. The first thing that I want to stick in is the kit note that comes with each kit that says what's inside it and what the inspirations are and I'm going to use a little bit of this glittery card and some washi tape to make a border for the page.
This journal was a gift from Instagram way back when I was an Instagram ambassador and as grateful as I am to them for the journal I do like to cover up those little symbols at the side because they don't really go with the aesthetic of the journal so you'll see whenever I use this journal the first thing I do is cover those up. Sorry Instagram. Also can we just mention how well my top and my nails match this pink glittery card today? I feel so coordinated. On this spread I know there won't be that much to write because usually in a spread about a journal club kit I would write about what's in the kit and what the inspirations are but obviously that's already on the kit note so I know there's not going to be a lot of writing to do and whenever I have a spread where I just know I'm not going to have much writing to fill up the page I like to try and fill up the page in other ways which usually involves lots and lots and lots of washi tape so you'll see I put some stripes of washi tape on here in the kind of different colours that I want the pages theme to be and then I don't really like it just all being in these blocks so a lot of the times I'll rip up pieces of washi tape to kind of put some colour around the page but scatter it a bit if that makes sense. let you know as usual all of the washi tapes that I'm using in this spread are from the washi tape shop.com so I have a code there it's journals 10 if you want to get 10% off I always recommend them because they're just my favorite tapes I have trolleys and trolleys full of them and I just can't get enough sometimes I have a plan for my journal spreads a lot of the times I don't or I have a wishy-washy plan in this case I kind of wanted one side of the page to be black and silver kind of moonlight vibes and then the other side to be more pink and valentine's -y. but as I went along this didn't kind of pan out so I just decided to balance out the colors and put some pink on this page it's a weird intuitive process sometimes I can't tell you why I do what I do it just feels right now we have an episode of how many glitter dots can Kia physically put on a page. Obviously you can see I've used a lot of this mini sheet so I think I'm going to need some more very soon. I just really enjoy adding these on. Now it's my favourite part of the spread using the sticker sheets. Whenever I watch myself back making a spread, especially this one and sped up, it makes me really glad that I decided to make my own sticker sheets because if I was buying them off someone else, I would have no money left. I'm really like a sticker locust. Like, look at how I use up these sheets. I just can't stop myself. Now you may have seen if you watched the Shimmer journal spread video as well that I'm really enjoying these pens at the moment called line painters and they're kind of hard to explain but basically they are silver in the middle and then the colour of the pen around the outside so it's hard to see with this one because it's grey but you can see it with the pink and purple dots I do a bit later on that you kind of have a metallic silver in the middle and then it looks like you've outlined the silver with a colour in fine liner. It's a really cool effect, I've never seen them before and because I've been doing shiny and shimmery themed pages I've been enjoying them a lot. They were a gift from my mum, thanks mum, she knows exactly what I like. You can see it a bit better here how I've just drawn a dot but it looks like a silver dot with a purple outline. It's a cool effect, I've not seen it before. Um, those are by XSG markers if anyone's interested, that's not sponsored, I just thought they were fun. The purpose of this journal spread is just to display the supplies from this journal club kit in a really nice way so I'm just having fun filling up the space because I'm not really going to write that much about it and I'm just having fun filling up space in general these days. I feel like I'm getting back to just being a kid, enjoying making marks and sticking stickers on without really needing a reason. It's a nice freedom. And here I'm writing the title for the page which is February 2023 Sparkle and Shine Kit.
now I've filled up most of the page with pretty things, it's time to write in the gaps. If it looks like I write in a weird way, that's because I do. It's the curse of being a left-hander. You have to kind of write in a weird way to make sure that you don't smudge it all as you go along. <laughs> Okay, I think that my camera was just like this. Girl, you've made these sticker sheets full of all these doodles so that you don't have to doodle so much on the page. And what did you do? You filled the page with them and then you still went into the gaps and added loads more stars and dots with pen. I don't know why I did it, I just did. But my camera definitely got fed up with me because right as I got to drawing in loads of extra doodles, it just cut out, just didn't want to know about it. So we have skipped out some of the process. Here's the finished spread. It's very full and very shiny. I hope you enjoyed making it with me. I hope you like the finished product. I really love using, did you see that? <laughs> so many things fell out, I need more paper clips. As I was saying, I really enjoy using the kit notes that come in each journal club kit in these spreads because it just reminds me like what was inside and what the inspiration was for each kit. If you are a member of the journal club, I'm really excited for you to receive your kit. These are being collected tomorrow, but they'll have already gone by the time you watch this. And hopefully making this spread with me has given you some inspiration on what you could do with your supplies, but obviously it's totally up to you. Do it your way. If you're not a member of the Journal Club, but you'd like to join, the deadline for the Sparkle and Shine kit has passed, but you can sign up by the end of February to get March's kit. So how it works is when you sign up during a month, your first kit is the next month's kit. Obviously anyone who watches my content, comments on things, buys something from my shop is super special and I'm so grateful but there is like an extra tier of love that I have for people who sign up to the Journal Club because it's just a really nice feeling that someone enjoys your creation so much that they would subscribe to you monthly and contribute to you having a sustainable art career so that is really special. And another perk of joining the Journal Club is the joining gift that you get, which is this large holographic sticker that's so pretty. It's a journal that says I love Journal Club and it has an envelope inside with two sticker sheets, which is like what you get in your Journal Club kit. So you'll get a Journal Club kit full of stickers and inside that will be this sticker that has a Journal Club kit on it. You can put it in your journal and it is a journal and it's a sticker that has stickers. There's so many levels, it's so meta. Hope you like it. I just think it's really pretty and every person who joins the Journal Club will get one of these in their first kit as like a little gift for joining. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this. It's been absolutely ages since I've done a chatty YouTube video so it's been really nice to talk to you and if you're a patron wondering how to use your HTV then just stick around and we're gonna talk about it for a few minutes now. Otherwise thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Are you still here? Is it because you want to know how to use this? Okay, here we go. So, like I said before, I used uh, this kind of puffy pencil case just to give you an example, and it worked well. It still stuck, but it's probably not ideal. Every other time I've used this heat transfer foil, I've used it on like a t-shirt or some thin kind of cotton fabric, so that's what I would recommend. Depends obviously what you want to put your name on. If you did want to put it on a pencil case, which I do think is a cute idea, I would just recommend one that's like one layer thin fabric instead of a cushioned one. This is what you'll need, you need a heat proof surface so more likely than not it's going to be an ironing board. I've got this little heat mat that I got for, with my Cricut Easy Press. Something to iron it on with, so I've got my Cricut Easy Press, you can just use a household iron, it'll work exactly the same. Blank, so something to put your name on as we discussed, pencil case, t-shirt, something like that, and your name itself, the actual piece of silver HTV. What you need to do first is use your iron to warm up the blank a little bit, so in the area that you want your name to go on, just run the iron over it, heat it up, get it nice and warm. What you need to do is peel the thin plastic off the thick plastic, so you should be left with a piece of clear plastic on top of the letters and the letters are facing the right way, not back to front. So get rid of that thin plastic. On your nicely warmed blank, try and lay the name out as flat as you can. Obviously it will get flattened down as you iron it. So there should be the thick plastic on top and that's what you're going to iron onto. I'm using my Cricut Easy Press at 145 degrees because that's what the app recommended. I'm not sure how hot household irons go. My Easy Press app recommended that I 
iron the foil for 30 seconds. I did do it for a minute just because the material was a bit thicker. It's up to you really, you'll have to keep looking and you can kind of tell when it started to stick because it changes colour a little bit. So iron for I'd say 30 seconds to a minute depending on how it's going, how hot your iron goes and then once it looks like it's stuck you turn it over and just iron it from the other side for 15 to 30 seconds as well just to make sure it's really good and then the hardest part is the patience at the end because you have to leave it until it's completely cooled. It's really tempting to just want to start peeling it but you just you're better off waiting until it cools down because it'll stick better. So once it's completely cool and make sure you switch everything off there's no chance of you burning anything then you can peel the thick plastic off the top and you should see your name nicely stuck on there and everything else I've used this foil on I've washed loads of times already and it's still going strong so hopefully it will for you too I just thought it'd be really fun to include your name in something shiny in this kind of shiny sparkly themed kit and just personalize your kit for you you really mean a lot to me being a Journal Club member and I hope you have fun with this. Let me know if you have any questions. Hope you enjoy your kit and please tag me in anything that you make because I would just absolutely love to see what you create. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy journaling. Love you!